Peter. <laughs> But I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. But, uh, by the way, I'm not good at public speaking, so I'm just gonna be like kind of random going back and forth. But, uh, for the. Same? Same, yeah, same. <laughs> uh, but, uh, for those who don't know who I am, my name is Amber Lou, I'm in a group called FX. <laughs> act dumb for a living, which is fun. But, uh, yeah. And I, I'm a cringy YouTuber. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, the student board prepared, like, a Q&A and stuff, and I know you guys are going to be asking me questions, but before we get into that, I kind of want to take some time to just kind of talk with you guys, if that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And by the way, I tend to kind of, like, rant a lot, so that's why I have my notes in front of me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I think this whole this, this whole engagement is gonna just be me like yelling at you and you yelling back. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, so uh, you guys are in college. How is it? Is it fun? It's good. I never went to college, so. I envy a lot of you. It's okay, you're no, I'm not missing much. <laughs> I love you! I never went to college either. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I got you. Okay. I got you. Um, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, I did grow up in Cali, so I do have a slight bias. I will come out. And I have these little, like, hand motions, so don't, you know, think I'm, like, spazzing or anything. It just, it just comes out. <laughs> um, but. I guess the first thing I want to ask you guys, um, I guess in your mind, you can answer in your minds, so it's just some food for thought that I wanted to just share with all of you, and I kind of wanted to just um, share my opinions and I guess my thought process of me. The, well, the, the engagement's called the function of Amber, right? <laughs> so the way it function. Um, but my big question to you guys is, what is success to you and what is happiness to you? And it's a, yeah, it's, I know it got to be really fast, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a really important question. I just kind of want to take this time to, you know, challenge yourselves, you know. You guys are in college, you guys are going to, um, you guys are studying your majors and whatever you college people do. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are going to go on this journey and then you're going to step into reality or think, well, so a lot of you guys are already in reality with student loans and whatnot. You guys are <laughs> learning about responsibilities. So, you know, think about that. Like, what is happiness to you? What is success to you? And the reason why I say that is, I think society gives us this really weird standard, like, this is what success is, you know? And I think that's very different for everybody. I think everybody's ambitions, everybody's skill sets, everybody's mindsets are very different. So, keep that in your head. And when I went to Korea at 15, yeah, I'm a little crazy, 15. <laughs> You know, it was great, you know, I thought me you know, singing and dancing, um, doing all, doing what I'm doing now would make me happy. And, well, yeah, that's gonna be great, I'm on stage and I'm with all these fans and, it, yeah, I'm very thankful for that experience and I'm still experiencing that, which, you know, I thank you guys for. Is it okay for me to walk around? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm like, kind of like making this half crescent when I'm going. Walk over here! <laughs> walk over here! <laughs> Back on topic, sorry. <laughs> but um, I always felt like something was really missing, you know, and I, I think I've spent the last around six years just trying to figure out what that missing thing was. And I was just like, what am I doing with my life? You know, I, I have so many things to be thankful for. You know, I have great fans, I have a great career, I have loving family, great friends, but this, it just wasn't like, something was just really missing. So, I came up with, I guess, I don't know, seven things? I don't even know my own. Seven things, yeah, seven things that I guess, if it could help you, you know, 
Um, please take notes if you want. You guys are in college. You <laughs> 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 put them around your phone or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, seven, I came up with seven things that I think I've come up with so far on this journey to kind of find who I am and um, I guess pursue what I want to pursue. So, number one. Number, okay, number one. <laughs> number one. You don't need to please everybody, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know this. There's a lot of people, we all come from different backgrounds, different cultures, different skill sets. There's really no point in pleasing everybody. Like my sister, dude, my sister right here, Jackie, say hi. We can't stand being in the same room for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> So, don't be so hard on yourself. And there's no need for you to get everybody to like you. You're gonna meet different people, you're gonna clash with your best friends, um, you're gonna just be thrown into the world, because we have the internet now, everybody has an opinion. So, no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is, no, uh, yeah, that English is very hard to make. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, number two is not everything has to be. Uh, no, oh my gosh, yeah, English is very hard today. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you don't need to compete constantly over everything. And number one the reason why is because it's just like a really, it's going to drain you. You know, you're, it's great to have ambitions, it's great to have goals. But to constantly top somebody else or compare yourself to some uh, compare yourself to somebody for what they have and what you don't have, it's really, really draining and it's gonna drive you nuts. And you know, be realistic, I guess, in that case, you know. And uh, you know, you gotta enjoy things. So that segues to my third point, <laughs> which is you don't need to keep looking at the benefits of a situation. And what that means is, uh, my analogy that I give is, when you're going on a jog, who likes jogging? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys like jogging? <laughs> jogging is fun. <laughs> I like driving. Poquito? Poquito, okay. Well, for those of you who like jogging, okay, for those of you who don't like jogging, you guys will obviously understand this. Uh, when you're on a job, you're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, when is it over? Oh, I just want to get back home and, you know, binge and watch Netflix, right? <laughs> but if you cost, if we start that job and you just kind of just dreading the whole thing, well, how, what's ha when am I gonna get to point A to point B? You're never, you miss out on a lot. And what I mean by that is you could have appreciated the trees, the sky, the fresh air. So whatever you're doing, enjoy that process. And don't only look, okay, just because I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get this, get this, get this. So enjoy the process of all that. And then number four, four, <laughs> is to be careful with fame, money, and power. Sorry, I got really deep in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, these three things are gonna, you guys are in college right now, you guys are gonna graduate where you guys are ready to have jobs, right? You guys are gonna go up and you're gonna go up in ranks and you're going to, you know, these three things are gonna come with wherever you go. And what, the reason why I say be careful with fame, money, power is that it's, it's unavoidable. You know, you're gonna make a living, you're gonna meet a lot of people and then you're gonna get to a certain status where you can dictate and do th certain things. And one thing that I was like hurt when I got hurt, um, what I was most hurt by was I see a lot of passionate, smart, hardworking people, and because of one of these three things, or all three of these things, they just fall into horrible habits, they lose a lot of relationships, they um, just lose themselves. And I think the challenge is that when these three, when these three unavoidable things come is how do you utilize it and how do you make what you want into a reality without it overwhelming you. So keep that in mind. Number five is to not only work hard but work smart. Anybody can work hard. You're gonna, you're gonna stay up all night 
writing that essay, um, doing shifts, but it's like digging a hole with the chops, with chopsticks, you know? Anybody can do that. I, I can work really hard and dig a hole with chopsticks, but that's why the smart factor comes in. How are you going to utilize your time? How are you, how are you going to divide up um, your time and how are you going to use it to your benefit? Like working out, you know, you're not going to constantly work out your chest muscles like every single day. You just have really big chest, which I don't have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, <ADD>, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, like with working out, you're gonna work on, you have a chest day, you have a leg day, then you have a back day, you're gonna have, then your rest days, and then you also have to have a good diet. So you have to work smart in these situations, and you're gonna constantly learn and kind of keep building up that, I guess, lifestyle vocabulary as you go on. My sixth point is to help one another. That's a no-brainer. We're all peoples of different backgrounds, different races, different cultures, different religions. We're going to, we have to learn how to function together. And I think what's so beautiful about society is that you're gonna have your accountants, you're gonna have my managers, you're gonna have uh, students, you're gonna have teachers, and everybody needs to work together to create a team, to create a community. So what, I see a lot in societies that when we have our differences, we, set, we tend to push each other away, and we tend to bring each other down, or something like that, you know? That's not cool. So, help somebody. When, someone's, when someone falls down, what do you do? You, you pull them up, right? So, do it. <laughs> and uh, I definitely know that when I was in a really, really bad place, if I didn't have that person could pull me up, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, what you, you can always make a difference. And my last and final point before Q&A is to listen and to communicate with each other. Again, we're all different, and society tells us to, when we express emotions and when we express vulnerability, it's, it makes you less of a person. It's very embarrassing, you know? And I think when we, take that chance to express our emotions and our vulnerability, we actually learn more about each other. So take the time to listen. And there was a time when I felt like really alone. I was in a really dark place. And after a lot of thought, you know, I just decided to open up to one of my friends. And they didn't judge me. They didn't say anything. They didn't, tear, they didn't like, you know, bash my character, they just listened. And I think that we also need to, as a society, open up ourselves with, you know, with our minds, but most importantly with an open heart to each other because we need each other to function. So I know this, this is a really like cliche list, but they're very, very important aspects of our life that I think we tend to forget about as we go more deeper into society. So, hope this list helps you out. And um, thank you guys for listening to me right for me. Oh my God, so <laughs> uh, Thank you, Amber, for that wonderful introduction. Could you get another round of applause?